All right, so I know a couple people have been wondering about this. We've seen uh, examples, for example, in an exam one, uh, number four Y on page 14, um, that we actually have an NH2 group. Uh, and we might actually add something like an, uh, like an acyl chloride, and it'll create this crazy-ass complex with the NH and then the acyl attached to the NH2. The reason why this is crazy is because we typically think, all right, well, if we're doing an acyl chlorate, uh, chlorination, we'll usually add that, you know, as an electric substitution somewhere on the ring. Well, let me tell you why this is useful. Uh, first off, NH2 is extremely activating in that if we were to actually do a second electrophilic substitution, because NH2 is orthoparadirecting and it's crazy activating, there's no real way to stop that reaction. So it would end up with groups on the ortho and the para positions and end up with something like this. I just chose Q because, quite frankly, I just wanted to show some sort of a group and I didn't want to use a letter that maybe we've seen before. So this is not what I want. So in order to make sure that maybe I get only one group attached, perhaps at the para position, I want to deactivate this a little bit. And the best way for me to do that is by doing this process over here. So if I use an acyl chloride here, all right, and I don't use a Lewis acid at all, what will happen is that it'll complex with the NH2 and you'll get something like this. Now this over here is far less activating. It's still activating overall, don't get me wrong, but it's far less activating than just the NH2 alone. So if we were to work this through a second um, electrophilic reaction, what we would actually see is that we would have the addition para to the position of the crazy complex that we created, but notice how we don't have multiple groups adding you know, all at the same time like we had up here. What that ends up doing for us is that, once again, we have a para position to what was once an NH2. Now, we want that NH2 back, so the way you do that is you just simply put it through with dilute base, all right, and from there you'll be able to restore from the crazy complex back to the NH2. This sheet will be made available on the Facebook group.